Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Danny TV. It's your girl Danny, and I am officially in California, y'all. I made it. I made it. <laughs> I miss you guys so much. So, today's video, I want to talk about moving via airplane and just some tips that I picked up along the way to share with you guys so please please stay tuned for the rest of this video and whew, there's, there's some noises around here guys so <laughs> I, I I don't know what to tell you I've been trying to record this video for a minute and I've just been encountering a lot of trucks cleaning singing it's a very active city um okay so in today's video i just want to discuss some tips for moving via airplane i came across some bumps along the road and i feel like if i can save the next person from making or not knowing the things that I didn't know, <laughs> that I wish I knew, then why not? So, without further ado, please consider watching the entire video and consider subscribing. Thanks! So this first tip may seem obvious and that's plan ahead, okay? You need to look into the airline you plan to travel with in their check bag policies. <clears throat> So for me, the mistake I made, I bought my ticket early, but I didn't like look into JetBlue's baggage policies. I'm just so used to traveling with JetBlue, like it was just like natural for me to just buy my ticket with them. So I bought them through Expedia and it turns out that for some reason I didn't select a check bag option. So I had to pay $30 for my first check bag and then $40 for my second check bag which was $70. And if either of these bags were overweight it would be $150. And if I had a third check bag that bag would cost me $150. Like what? I <laughs> So that kind of like threw my packing game slash plan <laughs> off the rails a little bit. So I ended up having to like compress all that I can within two check bag suitcases and a duffel bag and just ship the rest in large boxes. Okay, so my next tip is about packing light. So as some of you may know, JetBlue has a 50 pound weight limit for their check bags. And if you go over that 50 pound weight limit, $150 is what they're trying to charge you. So through my research, I found these um, compression travel bags and they did wonders. You would pack these bulky items and then just like roll it, roll it, roll it, and then it squeezes all the air out and it like creates this vacuum and makes everything just compact and neat. <clears throat> I was able to like just pack twice as many items and clothes than I bargained with these bags. These bags are legit. And I don't, I think because it took the air out, like it made it like lighter. <laughs> and as always, just pack what you need. Don't pack your whole house. You know, certain things you can afford to pay for when you get to where you have to go. Or certain things are just not necessary for you to take with you. So consider where you're going and for what reason and then pack the essentials and if there's room you can like pack other miscellaneous things. Another tip I have for you guys is please 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 weigh your bags before you go. See now I had two check bags like I said one of them when I got to the airport was 49 pounds. The other one, I will confess, I messed up. Like I, I took out some items to make it lighter, and then at the last minute, I added some things, hoping that it wouldn't make a huge difference. But it did. <laughs> um, my second check bag was 56 pounds. And shout out to the guy that got my bag in there because he, he gave me 
the POC discount. <laughs> POC people of color discount because he wasn't a black man. But <laughs> he hooked me up, okay? And I was able to get my things there. But yeah, wear your things before you go because you don't, you never know who you're going to end up interacting with and what type of mood they'll be in that day. So just pack your things and weigh them before you take them to the um, airport so you have no surprises. My last pro tip is to look into alternate shipping options. For me, I packed my two check bags and my duffel bag to fly with and then I shipped two large boxes via UPS and that's all she wrote. Uh, <laughs> I put school supplies, printer, um, snacks, and then any other like miscellaneous thing that couldn't fit into my suitcases without making it super heavy into those boxes. And that's it. I'm here. I have everything that I need. I'm comfortable. And I would say didn't cost me altogether with like the, sh the $70 for the two check bags and then the two boxes that I shipped were like a hundred and change so like two hundred dollars and then you cost like the flight the one-way flight so like four or five hundred dollars I think I spent to move I don't think that's bad well guys that's it for today's videos I'm trying to keep these super short and sweet and just give you the content that you need and hopefully this is helpful to you guys I started my lock journey again I'll make a separate video for that and I got my courses today so I know what classes I'm going to be taking and if you're interested in a video about that let me know I'm going to attempt to vlog and we're just going to see how life in California is I heard it's the better coast Love you guys, stay blessed, stay positive, and as always, please like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. I'm trying to make it to like 300 subscribers. Let's get 300 subscribers by, what's this, August? November, 300 by November. Can we do it? Can y'all do that for me? I would appreciate it. All right, guys. Love you.